Hi guys, and welcome once again. My name is KING, the king himself, your superstar host, and I am welcoming you to DGG. Yeah, DDG, DGG is Daily G's Galo, shown on Oluburi TV every day between the hours of 11 a.m. in the morning and 11 p.m. in the night. <laughs> We got a lot of stock for you, man. We got a lot of stock for you. Yeah, yeah, a lot of stock. All right, so what's up? What's up? What's going on? You are just joining us. Hmm? You're just joining us. You are in the right place. <laughs> Casala don't bust, too. <laughs> okay, I know you are actually thinking, what's the Casala? We don't bust, okay? The Casala now small, zoo. Breaking news. Vice President Osubanjo leaves Iguske amid ballot, ballot sorting. Why do you think he left? Let's let's make this interactive. Why do you think he left? And maybe he left because he has foresaw his feet. I know people have been saying a lot of things about him, like, ah, you are a snitch, man. You be a snitch, and a snitch you be. And if you want to ask me, I'll also say the same thing. Like, why would you ah, it's not done? Why would you even do something like this? Like, I don't understand. Someone, yes, but I, uh, sorry, Tinobu, Tinobu said in his meeting with the delegates when he went to Open State, he said, This this man here, said this this VP, I was the one who nominated him. I nominated, I mentioned his name. There were just three. There were just three. I hear me doing, then he mentioned one Ibo man's name, and I mentioned him. And when they said, Okay, oh, hey, but, but wanted me to be the vice president, but I said, No. I don't want to be the vice president. I, I just, because you are a Muslim, I'm a Muslim, and Bukola Saraki and his cohort are already against it. And you know, Nigerians won't even like it. Muslim, Muslim. So let's just do it like this. Let's do Christian. If you can still remember the time of, of uh, Yara Dua, of blessed memory, may his soul rest in perfect peace. You know, Yara Dua was a Muslim, but his vice, his vice was Jonathan, a Muslim, a, sorry, a Christian. And then when Jonathan became the president, who became his vice? Yes. I know you can see. Yeah, that's when with Sambo. Sambo became the vice. And then, this is Buari, Buari, also a Muslim. So, you know, said, you know, it won't all go well. If I also become the vice president, let me nominate some people. I know you yeah, bring three names. Okay, okay, I can't bring three names. Let me just give you one name. And he mentioned the name of Osibanjo, which is a very good thing that me, eh, myself, eh, I really enjoy. I'm telling you. Hey, no be me talk that one no. Nah, Tinobu. He said, then I nominated him. He said, okay, just do this. And then the next thing, ah, uh -uh, you are now standing against me. Well, Nigeria's number two citizen, VP, that vice president, Yemi Osibanjo, has left Eagles Care with the APC prim when the APC primary is yet to be over. They never end down with. Now only sorting they don't need to. <laughs> The vice president, as we claim, departed the venue of the presidential primary because he felt maybe there was no hope for him winning the election. At the moment, ballot sorting is ongoing by the officials of the APC to be followed by vote counting. And let me tell you how, ah, Tinubu, you know when you are talking about the real Jagaban, this man is the real Jagaban. Yeah, you can say that name again. You can see the way I deep in my voice, Jagaban. I think the first ballot box. Tinubu won like 205 votes. Yemi Usibanjo had 23. Amala won had 6. You know, don't forget Amala won was nominated by Yamadu. That's the APC chairman, for the national chairman. And people said maybe the Gogoro that he has been eating has entered his brain for you to have nominated Amala won. Roti Miyamechi, 29 votes. Yaya Belo, that's governor, current governor of Kogi State, he had 5 Vote and three invalid votes. Then we also have Bola Ahmed Nubu again, second ballot box. Ahmed Lawan scored 19. Bola Ahmed Nubu scored 303. Cheese. Emil Sibanjo 54. Ruti Miyamechi 65. Yaya below 5. Devumai 3. Benayade 5. Void votes 2. Hmm. Well, some people say maybe Tinubu should open a school of politics for the youth. He started it for the past 23 years. It's worth studying. <laughs> I believe it should be congratulations in advance for, for him. And then as it stands again, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, 719 votes in another ballot box. Ahmed Lawa, 34 votes. Yemi Osibanjo, 97. Roti Miyamechi, 138. Yaya Belo, 21. Devumai, 10. Benayade, 6. Ahmed Sani, 2. Void vote, 6. Hmm. We are still ongoing, don't worry. But it, it, it just is sweetening me. But you know, Osibanjo, people have been calling Osibanjo a, a betrayer. 
Yeah. Yes, yeah, so on Wednesday, that's today, June 8th, departed Eagles K. Abuja, the venue of the presidential primary of the All Progressives Congress, APC, for saying his ambition to become President Muhammadu Bari's successor will not see the light of the day. Although the Nigerian vice president, as Osman, was rated among Asuajibola Metinobu's top opponents in the primary, of folding events at the election are indicating that his presidential ambition for 2023 will go nowhere. All right, very quick one before we continue. My name is KNG, the king himself, your superstar host. And if you are just joining us, this is DGG, showing on Odubori TV every day. Like I do tell you, within the hours of 11 a.m., 11 in the morning, and 11 p.m. in the night, you can also kindly visit www.oluboritv.com for more insight. Hmm. For more insight, yeah, that, that's what we know. Osibanjo's departure from the venue is coming at a time when the votes uh, that has been casted by PC delegates are even yet to be counted. <laughs> that was when Baba, Baba left to oh, he left. He left to oh, he left. Baba left to oh, he left. <laughs> The court on Tuesday yesterday, the governors of the APC proposed a five-man list of aspirants to President Muhammadu Buhari to consider for consensus, but the consensus was not successful, actually. Those initially proposed were Ashiwaju, Bola Amentinobu, Vice President Yabio Sibanjo, Roti Miyamechi, Governor Kyle Defiami, and Governor Dave Umay. I just want to ask this question. Who do you think, who do you think is the best, is fit to be the president? Who do you think? Well, some people said they would have chosen Yemio Sibanjo. But Yemio Sibanjo, mm, some people said he's a betrayer. For him to have betrayed uh, his Oga, that's Tenubu. Don't let us forget that even Atiku did the same thing. Atiku, yes, was alleged to have done the same thing to Baba Yabo. Yes, that's Olusha Gumaro Mobasanjo, the vice president of Nigeria uh, during the military regime and the civilian rule. Yeah, so, and then Atiku did the same thing. Now people are saying, ah, it is now Osibanjo's uh, period. Okay, continue doing it too. All right, very quick one. Thank you very much for subscribing and liking this video. Subscribe to this channel more and more. We will want you, want you around. My name is KNG, the superstar host himself, saying I love you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Let's just, just, just calm down. Let's see how everything will be. Let's see how it will unfold. <laughs> Let's see how it will unfold. Thank you.